So my mental journey started when I was 14 years old and I was experiencing a major depressive episode. At the time, it felt like I had no options. Things were not gonna change and I wasn't happy with my life and there was nothing really that brought me joy. As a result, I tried to commit suicide and I ended up being hospitalized. My name is Jess, I work in marketing, and seven years ago I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1. So after I graduated from my post-secondary degree, I started working um, at one of the world's largest PR agencies. For the first four to six months, I had a great time. I loved the accounts I was on, the people I was working with, and I felt like I had a lot of opportunity. Then slowly things started to change as my workload increased. I also found it really hard to talk to my manager, so I wasn't able to get the support I needed to reduce that stress. And as a result, my moods started to change. My thinkings and behaviors changed as well, and I became erratic. So I would go for four or six days without eating or sleeping and just working around the clock to crashing and crying at my desk and not being able to get up in the morning or not being able to make it to work on time because no one understood the symptoms or what I was going through. Eventually I ended up quitting my job and I went to the ER at Sunnybrook. And I remember it really distinctly, they separated me from my then boyfriend, now husband, and they brought him into a room and they told him that I would spend the rest of my life in and out of hospitals. And I wouldn't be able to hold down a full-time job. And even though it's been seven years, it was so triggering and it freaked me out. I didn't want that to be my life. So I decided to learn as much as I could about bipolar and come up with a strategy and a way for me to deal with it and live a full life. And that required me to go and talk to a therapist as well as a psychologist. And those conversations with them were invaluable. They knew so much about the illness and they provided me a safe space to explore how bipolar impacts my life and the symptoms that I experience and how it relates to me. I often think of you know, those times and those um, appointments as almost a course on mental health and staying mentally fit. I would pay for a course that would train me on something related to my job, no problem. So why wouldn't I invest my time and money into learning how to handle my emotions, my moods, and bipolar? So taking you know, the time each week to talk to a therapist or to see your psychiatrist regularly prevents you from experiencing crises again and helps you understand your early warning signs so you know how to, to curb it and to get back on track. For me, after I was diagnosed and I left the hospital, getting back to work was my number one priority. To do that, I had to figure out what supports I needed in a workplace so that I could be successful and so that I could stay mentally fit and manage my symptoms. I was able to use strategies and tools that I learned in CBT to help me address the way that I dealt with stress and the way that I thought about stress. It forced me to look at some of the ways that I thought about situations and perceived stress and change it. And when I did that, I found that I was much more optimistic. I felt way better about my interactions with people. Um, I was less anxious for what was going to come because I felt like I could handle it and that I would be able to turn a stressful situation and neutralize it or turn it into a positive situation because of these strategies I learned. To someone who's experiencing something similar to what I've gone through, whether that's depression, anxiety, bipolar, psychoses, it's not a life sentence. You can manage your symptoms and your, your mental illness and live a very successful life. It does take work and it takes time, but it's worth it to invest in yourself. And no one will have the same story as you, but you can always find a community of people who experience similar symptoms. And I found that incredibly helpful.